So in my last video, I checked out the new MacBook Air 13.3 inch laptop. This one, this makes sense. This is the other new Apple product or products, the iPad Pro. It's the 11 inch, 12.9 inch of what Apple, I think, considers to be the future of computing. There are many ways to interact with this device. Can also use the pencil. They've changed this around. This is different. This is radically different. We have to see how this compares to the latest MacBook. It does seem that humans are beginning to adopt this modular lifestyle where devices are not just one thing, but many things. Boom! 512 gigabyte version Wi-Fi plus cellular. For me, this is the more interesting form factor because at least it's comfortable to hold. It just seems like the right size. There's no curve anymore. It's a slab. Look at that. Ooh, contact points for accessories, including the smart keyboard. The move to USB-C. This is the magnetic portion where the pen can attach. Who doesn't like magnets? That's the Type-C power brick. Now this keyboard folio is not exactly cheap. Can you give me a price check on that, Willie Do? Ooh. 180 bucks. I should mention also, we're dealing with no home button anymore. I know that's gonna strike fear in certain individuals, but it allows you to have this really balanced bezel. Yes, it's different. It clips in like that. I like the way it clicks in. I like having two angles. That's an improvement over, hmm. The package is pretty nice, I suppose, but in iPad mode, this is a bit weird. That's you, that's you working, you're typing away. It's definitely not a laptop, the big boy. Just for iPad life, it gets a bit big. Some people are really into it. This hopefully gives you a better idea. This thing is small, it's like magazine territory, it's light. This to me feels way bigger than that does. Honestly, this seems weird, but my favorite thing about these iPads and the previous generation iPad Pro is the fast screen. Like, oh my God, it's kind of addictive. The instantaneous nature of that refresh rate. It's butter, Jack, it's butter. Who doesn't like butter? You don't want butter? I can't believe it's not butter. Butter! I can't believe it's not butter. Honestly though, don't eat that stuff. Eat the real butter. The real stuff! It is not that hard to make butter. It just takes time. Look at Ryan over there. Look how upset he is. Look at him back there. He's doing work supposedly. Guy hasn't worked a day in years. Butter talk. Sponsorship for butter? Just generic. Like the dairy farmers of America are like, Dairy Farmers of America! Yeah. We're bringing jobs back to America! It's gesture based. Welcome to the slab. The bigger model where it feels again like iOS is a bit foreign on a device this big. Like look at the spacing of the icons. The screens actually look nice. What about the speakers? According to Apple, they're great. Although what else would they really, what else would they tell you? I mean, let's be honest here. Okay, let's try the 11 inch first. Okay. That's a nice speaker, I must say. Let's try the bigger boy. Oh man, hang on, hold up. Oh yeah, okay. If audio is a big deal to you, if it's like a, a multimedia device is where you're gonna watch all your stuff, the speakers are better on the bigger one. Wow, these speakers are loud. These are louder than most laptop speakers. And they're firing out of both sides. Well done. Now, of course, we've also got the Apple Pencil. Give Apple your money and you are a professional illustrator. You are on the bus or the subway. You're sketching. You are cool looking. You have a checkered shirt, a shoulder bag, leather shoes. You just had broth for lunch. You lined up for beef broth. The lineup was around the block, you didn't care. You paid $8.75 for a cup of broth. You make your own butter that you brought it all the way around. You're a churner. Most importantly, you're cool because you have the Apple Pencil. This pencil now has a flat side on it because it's very cool what it does. Check this out. Yes, that's where it should have been all along. It charges from there as well. I mean, does it get any better? Boom. 
unlock to connect. Apple Pencil, 64% battery. Apple, see, they do that stuff right there. The cohesiveness is done well. Look at me now with the immediate feedback also. Pencil, double tap where, here? You're right. Will, smooth move. Actually, we have an artist on set, the man looking for some time in front of the camera because he loves it. No, it is not Ryan. Thank God it is not Ryan. Willie Do, also known AKA Hilly Who, AKA Hilele. All right, take it away, dude. It's like a tongue twister. Take though. it away, dude. What am I supposed to draw? <laughs> Sit. <laughs> so you have a head here and you have a nose. He has pointy ears. He always has his tongue out, so. Ah. Should ah. he be on the table? Ah. Okay, this is a beautiful drawing, Will. You're a professional artist, published <sighs> artist. The Sistine Chapel, you painted it. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't go that far, I, you know. So you used the pencil. You drew the picture. Otis looks identical to real life. It's uncanny, right? Yeah, I like the weight. When it's touching the surface, it's actually pretty smooth, and mm -hmm. I like that kind of uh, texture. I gotta say, they, they did a pretty good job. You're happy with it. Yeah. I guess it's a big part of Apple's pitch, is like, you can have this pen input. That said, this is not cheap. 129 bucks for that, you know? Let me ask you, you've seen it. You held it. Hold it. I did, yeah. Hold I, I... it, hold it. Do you want it? This is not for me. Wow! I feel like Mac OS should be in one of these. Wow! <laughs> I think the hardware is awesome. I think this is like the most balanced, lightweight iPad that there ever was. I really like the design. I think they went kind of back to the industrial design. I wouldn't use it personally. I think it's really nice. That's it. That's what I have to say. That's very aggressive. Hilly bringing the heat today. You expect the man to come in here and say I'm... one thing and he burns the place down. Uh, uh. It's for a specific person. They're trying to avoid the laptop. They want to touch something. They're lonely. They want to feel. <laughs> They're lonely? What? <laughs> They're in heat! Kind of like in smartphones, it's designed just getting out of the way because we want more screen for less. It's a rectangle that you can hold and the content itself does the talking. Obviously this thing is very powerful, performance comparable to an actual laptop in something incredibly slim and light. I think the thing holding it back is still the OS. Maybe that's a diminishing territory though. They were showing off Photoshop mm -hmm. on iOS. So it's like, hey, maybe that's changing. I don't know if it's right now though. I think as of right now, if you ask me today, and I could only go for one of the two Apple products, I'm taking the MacBook Air. You know this, yep. and you are as well. Yep. Maybe we use this a little bit, we change our minds. Uh, on the subway, you're doing this, an attractive lady sees you, she sees this, and the two of you go to a restaurant. And drink broth. <laughs> there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, iPad Pro, you saw them both. Will I use it more? You let me know in the comments. Should I? Are you curious? That's Hilly Who. You know who I am. It's all happening right here. Don't miss a beat. Next time.